Assalamu alaikum everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing 10 no sew abayas. And um, what you need is just 4 meters of stretch or jersey fabric. And the reason we're using that is because we're not going to hem. And those are best when you're not hemming. So um, without any further ado, let's begin. And we're going to start our first style. Okay, so you're going to open the stretch of your fabric. Um, get one end, so it's going to be the length of your fabric and then the shortest part is going to be like the 60 inches, that's going to be your length. So take that one end, tie it, put it over your head. Okay, now there we have all the rest of our fabric that I was trying to explain a second ago. And um, sorry, I have to keep adjusting the camera because <laughs> I have a new, a different tripod, I guess. Okay, now take that edge of the fabric and you may want to bend down and pull it all around you. Okay, and now adjust it so you have enough fabric on the front. And now decide how you want the side to fall. And then take another big piece like about 10 inches of the fabric and then just make a big knot see that's a huge hole that I made and then just put it over your shoulders now you're going to want to go ahead and probably put a little pin on the side to hold the two pieces together but there's your first style now for your second style you're going to recreate your first style okay and then locate the two edges of the fabric like you see i'm doing there now put a knot or place a knot i guess sorry sure that knot is secured and just put that over your shoulder and there goes your second style of course you're going to sort it out ensure that it's really really nice i'm going to turn around to the back just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like on the back so that's what it looks like on the back. Of course, you could adjust it, like pull it around. And you could even tie it onto that knot that you put to give it more coverage on the back. But essentially, that's the point. Now, you could go ahead and wear any color under this, but I wore yellow so you guys could see it. So now for style number three, you're going to take off style number two, that one piece. Nope, don't put it around you. Just take it and put it over your head. Now, of course, this is for somebody who really likes a lot of ruffles. I love my ruffles, so I'm doing this so that um, we could do um, beautiful ruffles. Okay, and I'm showing you on the edge how there is that, like a lot of ruffles going on. There we go. Go ahead and fix it. Of course, I didn't have a mirror, so I was just kind of doing it in front of the camera. And that's what it looks like on the back. Again, you could go ahead and fix the back and pin it however you want. Okay, and that's the style that we're doing. Okay, now for style number four. You're going to undo style number three. Not the whole thing, but just take it from the top of your head we're gonna loose out that knot the one that we put over our head so then we're gonna take the end of that um the fabric put it behind your shoulder and bring it over your head and make a hijab out of it like you see i'm doing here get a pin Sorry, I think I left for a while. Oh, there I am. Yay. Okay, get a pin and pin your um, hijab in place. Fix your hijab. Of course, you're going to accessorize your hijab however you want. But for this tutorial, I'm just showing you guys some ideas of how to do it. And there we go. And that's what it looks like. Of course, you're going to fix your bell, you know, and just accessorize it like I said. You're going to put a necklace on. You're not going to have your green on the cap showing like I have here. And that's what it looks like. There's a lot of coverage on the back, so you don't have to worry. And, of course, you're going to wear a T-shirt that matches. But for this purpose, I wore yellow so you guys could see it. 
And for style number five, you're going to undo your hijab. And I think I was deciding what to do with it from that point. But I think after a little bit of thought, I remembered what was my other style. Sorry. I think I did them all and then I kind of forgot what I was doing. All right. Are we going to get it? Okay, great. So <laughs> we're going to pull those two edges again. Now we're going to make a knot out of that. We're going to put that over our shoulder and then locate the other end of the fabric because you're going to have one more free end of the fabric. You're going to just take it and you're going to pull it in under as you see that I did and you're just going to put that over. And here you could go ahead, you could add a rose, you could add a really nice um, chain or a necklace or, you know, make it into a flower. But the general idea is to have that piece over so it creates a lot more ruffles on the side as you see there. I'm sorry, I don't think it's clear enough, but inshallah, if you guys need me to redo this one, I would definitely redo it. And that's what it looks like on the back. And of course, you're going to fix up the back as you would like it, less or more, however you like it. Okay, for style number six, you are going to undo that one part that you made first. Actually, you're going to undo the um, take off style number five. Put the one that you had around your neck on your arm. Grab another piece of the fabric and you're going to tie another knot. Take that off and then you put it on as if you're putting on a coat. Okay, once we have that fix your fabric it is a lot of fabric to work with so if you have somebody helping you trust me it would be a lot better if I had a model I probably would have done this a lot faster but I don't so okay now grab a pin I use the safety pin here it's best probably to use the safety pin pin that fabric in place ensuring that you have enough coverage oops I think I forgot a knot there Ensuring you have enough coverage. Now locate the two ends of your fabric. Okay, and then I'm going to show you it again how I located that. I just pretty much ran my hand all the way along until I couldn't find any more fabric. And then I ran my hand down. So take the two ends of the fabric. Create a knot. And put that over your shoulder. And that's style number six. Style number seven. We're going to grab a belt. Here you're going to have to make a little snip in the abaya. As you can see, there's no opening to put the belt. I realize that you're going to have to make a little snip. And it's going to look a little bit different when you make the snip. Well, all depends on if you wanted to make the snip there. As you can see, the belt comes around on the back, but ideally it should come around on the inside when you make the snip. Okay, now take that piece up that we put down, put it over your shoulder, and there we have style number seven. Yay! Okay, I'm trying to adjust it to show you guys what it would look like, like that. Okay, very nice. Okay, you see where it kind of spans my body on the back? When you make a snip, that would just be flowing open on the back. It wouldn't actually be tight on the back. Now for style number eight, remove the belt. 
the piece that we put over our hand, our left hand, put that around your neck. So bring it back and put it around your neck. Almost like a cape. And there we go. Very nice, very simple, very elegant. I'm going to show you guys again. You brought it around and then you put it around your neck. And that's what it's going to look like on the back. So all the ruffles and all the character would be on the back. Style number nine. One more to go, guys. Okay, so we are at style number eight. And what we're going to do, we're going to leave style number eight. And then we're going to pull up the center back. Open it up. Pull it over your head and tie it into a hijab. There we go. Yay. My face. And one more time. Pull that center back up. Pull it over your head. And tie it into a hijab. Style number 10 is really simple. I couldn't leave it at nine styles. So once you pin your hijab, take a belt and just put it on. So that's your 10 styles, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If there's any style that you guys want me to redo, just let me know and I will do a more in-depth video. I could also do videos on how to sew these instead of just knotting it. So let me know. Thank you guys so much and assalamu alaikum.